Where's my iHeart traffic shirt? Yo, I am in Calgary, Canada. Um, it is currently 420. My aunt, who is joining me on this trip, um, her flight got delayed and she's not getting in until now. So I'm gonna go pick her up at the airport and then we're gonna drive five hours to Jasper National Park. Um, when I originally got here, I totally thought it was only a three hour drive and it's like five hours. So we're not gonna get there till like 10 p.m., which I'm not stoked about because I am exhausted. I woke up early this morning. I had to wake up at like 5 a.m. Um, to catch my flight from Denver to Calgary and that went smoothly which I was really grateful for but um, when I got here um, I was just completely exhausted and I was thinking you know there is an idea for a business when you have travelers who come in during the day um, and don't really have time for a hotel but they have like a long layover there needs to be somewhere you can go to take a nap that's an idea <laughs> Skywalk where you can walk out onto this lookout that hangs above the canyon and there's a glass floor and it's a bit freaky but we're gonna try it and it's cold oh, yeah let's uh let's walk out over empty space all right let's go time to hang over the edge ah! So before I close out this vlog, um, I just wanted to take a second to tell you a quick story and give you a PSA. Um, while I was in Jasper, there was one day where I was driving along the highway and when you're in Jasper National Park or any of the national parks in Canada, it's very common to see wildlife on the side of the road. And so when I was driving, I saw this elk on the side of the road and this guy had stopped his vehicle and gotten out and he was basically two to three feet away from this elk with his iPhone in the elk's face trying to take pictures. And um, it really made me angry because it's just, you shouldn't do that. You should be really respectful of an animal's space. Um, if you get too close to an animal, um, it becomes um, very stressed out and it can become very aggressive very quickly and you could be attacked. 
um, just because they look um, calm or docile doesn't mean that they are. Um, so I just wanted to say to if you do see wildlife, no matter where you are, please, please, please be respectful of its space. Um, it's not good. When wildlife becomes too um, familiar with human interaction, it can become very aggressive and often target humans for food. Um, and in that case, when animals, especially bears, uh, when they attack um, and are fed constantly by humans, they actually have to be put down. So um, just with, if you see any wildlife, I know that it's a very uh, rare opportunity in certain parts of the world. So when you do, just please be respectful of their space and take your photos um, from a distance and admire them from a distance. Um, it's a real privilege to be able to see wildlife um, in their natural habitat and um, basically we don't want to, you know, harm the animals in any way and we don't want to spoil the experience for anybody else. Don't do that. Be a good human. An animal's life is worth far more than your Instagram photo, so just think about that. So that's all I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and I will see you guys again next week. Bye bye.